Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys a full day of meals, what Marcus and I both will eat. Marcus is almost two, he'll be two next month. Um, usually he eats exactly what we eat, but sometimes there's a slight alteration, um, so we will show you that. Marcus really loves to cook, and I find when he can help make something, he is more likely to eat it as well. So we're going to be doing all the cooking together today. He really, really loves helping mommy in the kitchen. Um, this video is also a collaboration with my friend here on YouTube, Caitlin Meyer. She and I do very similar content on our channels, um, so I think you guys will really love her. You'll need to head over to her channel after you watch this one. I'll have it linked down below, as well as at the end of this video um, but she's just such a beautiful and fun mama and she has a really cute little one and a half year old girl named Scarlett. If you guys came over to my channel from Caitlin's welcome my name is Justine and I do videos on motherhood lifestyle. I do a lot of cleaning motivation and meal inspiration as well as like fun things like fashion and day in the life vlogs stuff like that and I would love it if you guys would hit that red subscribe button and that way you'll be sure not to miss out on any of my upcoming content and now let's just get into breakfast. I needed to quickly turn on my camera before Marcus finishes his breakfast. We always do something really quick and simple in the morning. So all he has is a little bit of bread, some cut up dates, a cutie, and some raspberries. And he's eating the dates really fast because he loves it. Oh, and he has a glass of milk too from a big boy cup. And he's almost two and he completely feeds himself. It's so nice. He can use a fork too, but today we don't need forks. Right, Marcus? Hey. <laughs> Good job. And for my breakfast, I'm just having this Ancient Grains granola from Costco. I get the Costco size because I'm always eating this. I like it with yogurt, but today I'm having it with almond milk. And I gave him some raspberries, so I just topped mine with raspberries too. So me and Marcus are going to make sandwiches for lunch today. He loves to make his own peanut butter and jelly. This is his peanut butter because it has some jelly in it. But um, he loves to be my big helper. So Marcus is going to make his own sandwich. And then for Daniel and I, I'm going to make, um, I have an egg cooking over there. And <laughs> this is how he starts out with his sandwich. Um, we're going to have like egg sandwiches. Because I just kind of feel like that. I have an avocado or a cucumber, um, so I thought I would use it in something like this. And then we're going to put avocado and stuff on it too. Put some peanut butter on the bread and then some jelly on the bread. Usually when Marcus makes a sandwich, he wants to put jelly on it. Well, he puts jelly on both sides. No, 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 put it on your bread. Not on your mouth. On your, put it on your bread, honey. Please. No, put peanut butter on dad's side, silly. Put jelly on your bread, silly. Here, Mama, help you. Look, look what Mama's doing. No, that's Mama's avocado. Look, look, and then put some peanut butter on here. No, no, no. <laughs> hey, you got the skin, silly. You're so silly, little chef. You're silly. Do you want some avocado? That's the pit. No, 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 no. Don't eat the pit. Here, Mama, get you some avocado. Oh, really? Mmm. <laughs> is that yummy? Mmm. Here, do you want some avocado? Mmm. Yeah, you like avocado. Can you slide it around on your bread? Good job! No, 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 on the bread. Okay, that's probably enough peanut butter. So I just peeled my cucumber and then sliced it lengthwise. I cut it in half first. And I'm just going to put that on my sandwich. I'm going to do one side of mayo on each sandwich too. But only on one side so it's a little bit more color. Are you dancing? He's not. He's so happy today. 
and we've just gone through a huge bout of feeding, so I'm just really glad that he's feeling better. Yeah, you're gonna steal the show if you keep being so cute. Yeah. Oh, peanut butter jelly time. Is that what you're dancing to? Yeah. Good job. Yeah, you're a good dancer, but don't don't get too close to the edge. Come over here. This is organic head lettuce that also came in my um, imperfect produce box. It's a box that um, along the west coast, um, this company saves the produce that grocery stores reject and um, deliver it to your house. So. It can be really funny to take photos, or too small, or too big, then that grocery store just don't want. And so far everything has been pretty normal looking, and it's all good produce, but you just cut down on food waste. So I really like doing that. Um, and I get organic um, for cheaper than grocery stores. Okay. Now let's put you at the table. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see this, but he's back there dipping his bread into his milk. Good idea, Mary. Oh, you're you're done. Wow. Yeah. You ate that so fast. So there is my avocado egg, cucumber and lettuce sandwich with a little mayo on some Dave's Killer Bread. Um, yeah, I'm really excited. I like cucumber on sandwiches. Didn't used to, but now I do. And Daniel's is the same. It just doesn't have the cucumber. And we just got back from church, and Marcus had a snack there, so I wasn't sure how hungry he was. And then he was, now he needs to go down for a nap. He's getting a little cranky. Anyways, I had to make him another sandwich because he was still acting hungry. So it is now about 3 o'clock. And I wanted to make an eggplant dip uh, as a snack today and share the recipe with you guys because it's really, really delicious. It's a Romanian dish. Sorry, this is really bright. Um, it's a Romanian dish my friend Angela made and I am in, obsessed with it. It's so yummy. But tonight we're going somewhere. Um, it's Sunday and our church does every other week they do like a Sunday night celebration. Um, so we're planning to go on that to that and it's at 5 so I need to make dinner quite early tonight um, So I'm just gonna go ahead and start that now what I'm making is something that you guys have been requesting ever since I mentioned it like last month in a grocery haul and menu planning video It's a Thai coconut lime curry with rice and lots of yummy veggies. So I'm gonna start that now so here are the ingredients for the chicken curry. Um, I have right here some chicken. Most of this is from Trader Joe's, um, but everything's organic. I guess it would probably be pretty easy to make some Thai green curry Look. sauce, but this stuff from... <laughs> I was sitting at the table, so he copied me. Uh, he <laughs> thinks it's so funny. Aw, careful there, mister. Okay, anyways, um, I guess it would be easy enough to make Thai green curry sauce, but it's just so easy and the ingredients in this Trader Joe's one are pretty good for you. So yeah, I'm gonna be making this enough for six people, and then the brown rice is for on the side. I'm gonna make double what I need though, because later in the week I'm serving brown rice again. So we'll just save myself a step. And now we're gonna get to chopping, and Marcus is going to wash the vegetables for me because he loves water. Okay, I need to start the ripe first, actually. So we'll do that while we're waiting for our little feature. Oh, there he comes. Will you make sure he doesn't fall? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Be careful there, mister. Just gonna make the rice. I'm just making a brown rice really quick. I like to use short brown rice the best. Marcus likes it too. Oh, and he's already watching a banana. Thanks, honey. Thanks, sous chef. You know exactly what you're supposed to do. Huh. Okay, we make it 
Whoa, and an apple. Thank you, thank you. And an avocado. Marcus, you are doing so well. Thank you. Okay, let's get the real stuff. Can you wash the can you <laughs> can you wash the mushrooms? No, 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 wash the mushrooms. Can you put the mushrooms in there and wash them for mommy? take off any of the ends that look really rough. I think you can just get these full. Anyways, I'm just using the full eight ounces of mushrooms and the whole bag of snow peas, which is nine ounces. And um, the peppers are supposed to be those little mini bell peppers, but Trader Joe's was out of them. So we're just going to use these three tricolor ones that are really Big. And normally I would just slice them so that they're a little little rings. And I would slice the little ones so that they were little rings, but mm, I think these are too big to slice that way though. <laughs> well, that was unexpected. Little Susha, what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, 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 that's plastic. Okay, thank you so much for your help. I'm going to clean up this mess and then we'll be right back. <laughs> So here are all the veggies. I just fried them in so, olive oil yeah, with I mean, a little bit. I just sauteed them in olive oil with a little bit of salt and they're just so good like that and I love the bright colors. Um, I have my rice cooking over here. I need to cover that and turn it down to low now. And then I'm cooking three chicken breasts. And then as soon as the chicken's done, I'm going to be simmering it in the Thai green curry simmer sauce. And here's Marcus's. He really likes this too. He has everything that I'm eating, but I chopped up the chicken into little bite-sized pieces and um, the snow peas in little pieces as well. And he really likes it. But next time, he is not going to be in charge of washing the vegetables. <laughs> so it always looks a lot prettier with the round mini peppers but it still looks really yummy. I love how bright and colorful it is. Um, and the last thing I forgot to mention is you chop up a mango and put the fresh mango on top and it is just the yummiest bite of fresh cold mango that goes really well with this dish. Um, there's literally every people talking in every room in my house. So I'm just gonna quickly end the video outside on my front porch. Anyways, I hope you guys really enjoyed this. The recipe to the Thai coconut chicken curry will be down below, along with the link to Caitlin's video. I'm really excited to see her video that she films with her daughter. So make sure you guys head over there and let her know that I sent you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.